And the interesting thing is the, the week leading up to that back in September of 1985, uh, I remember feeling kind of sluggish. You know, sometimes when you're training, and I was at that time, I was running around 90 miles a week and running, running pretty hard workouts two days a week and then the recovery runs uh, the rest of the week and then the longer run on the weekend. But uh, I remember, I think it was on Wednesday of that week, Wednesday or Thursday, I actually ran kind of a hard workout trying to just flush my legs out because I just was like, man, I'm just feeling stale, not good, and like I'd like to feel, not light on my feet. And so I ended up going out to Philadelphia, and, and the pace went out very quick from what I'd, I'd gone prior to that time for a race that distance. And, uh, and I was like, at five miles, I'm struggling just a little bit to stay with the pack of, of five or six guys. And I was there, but, you know, I was you know, five or six steps behind and feeling like, you know, at any point I could fall off the back end. And I remember between five and six miles just kind of digging down. It's like, oh, I'm not going to give up and, and push through that point and moved right up with them. And it's kind of from that point, right at about uh, six miles, from that point to finish the race, I felt better each mile and, uh, and better than I'd felt before. We went through 10K at uh, just under 20 mi 29 minutes, 28.58. And then I end up running the second half faster than the first half. And I believe my fastest mile was the last mile of the race, right 433, somewhere in that, that neighborhood. But, you know, we were averaging just clicking off fourth, some between 437 and 439, just back and forth. And then one slower mile was the 12th mile up a hill that we went through in, I think, 442, something like that. But they were, they were just, it was just like clockwork, consistent.